in this country. Pensioners are hungry, living in hunger. And 54 billion was released to them. Let them explain to us what happened to this money. People are hungry. People have been denied their entitlement for about 10 years. Pensioners are turned to beggars. Can you believe that last Easter, they did not pay us our salary? I took them to a program organized by the Redeemed Church called uh, Let's Go Out Fishing so that they can get a pack of rice to eat. It's as bad as that. People have gone blind. They don't have homes, no hope. I mean, how, well, how long shall we continue like this? And we have an agency. It means that that agency did not know the reason why it was established. The primary reason government established that agency is for our own welfare. But unfortunately, they are pursuing assets instead of our own welfare. They put our welfare in jeopardy. In statement of those who are not being on payroll for the past 10 years and below, our 33% arrears has not been paid. She said you pay six months. We want our money in full. If you owe your landlord 100,000 naira, you are paying him 20,000, 20,000 every month, meaning that you don't want him to do any meaningful thing with that money. We don't want six months. We want our full payment. One year, 33% of our outstanding arrears with her. 18,000 18, naira minimum wage arrears. She's not, she did not understand the pains we are going through. She did not understand what is called arrears because she was not a retired civil servant or a career one. They just brought her to come ahead the pension. She does not know what is mean, what's the meaning of hunger, how people are feeling, how delusion Nigerian pensioners are, 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 are right now, what they are going through. She did not understand. Why should you be dragging your feet after eight months of verification? You refuse to pay them their money. A lot of us have died. Their plea is to the Pension Transitional Arrangement Directorate, which was established to address the numerous pensioners' complaints that bother on issues such as non-payment of monthly pension, short payment of pension and gratuity, removal of name on pension payment voucher, non-payment of harmonized pension arrears, irregular payment of pensions, and non-receipts of pension after retirement. The cries of pensioners over non-payment or short-paid monies has a long history in Nigeria, but the story was at its peak when the controversy of mismanagement of funds made headlines and the then chairman of the Presidential Task Force on Pension Reforms, Abdul Rashid Mena, was accused to be in the middle of it. The story was around the missing 195 billion naira meant for the police, the customs service, immigration and the Nigerian army. The case returned to the news four years later in 2017 when Mr. Mena reappeared and resumed duties at the Ministry of Interior. He was eventually sacked but the matter seems far from being settled. In spite of the controversy surrounding Mr. Mena, there are individuals who are sympathetic to him. I think most of the allegations were propaganda. Mena's case was misinterpretation of circumstances. He was the chairman of pension tax form, tax force. I was the state coordinator for pensioners in Lagos then. So I know him very well. I was, I was submitting pensioners form to him and he was paying us regularly all the outstanding areas he was courageous in us to pay all he was the only one that sympathizes with our situation if you get to head of service then you will see cripples pensioners who have become destitutes messing up the whole environment he came and he paid every one of them the place became clean i would take pensioners complaint from lagos to him and he pays immediately so he was a good man he was the man we know it was when he sees people's property, it is his proceed from those property he used in clearing our bills. So we are supporting him. He loved us and we loved him. He was paying us our money. He paid us latest 25th of every month. I was monitoring the payment. I shot to Lagos and Abuja every week to monitor our money. He would tell me he has paid because he was not the only signatory to the account. There are about five of them. So I keep wondering where he got this money from. 
So let us separate propaganda from the truth. I believe he stepped on a lot of toes when he was working because it was very hard on those who stole our money. He, he was the only man that introduced internal control mechanism to checkmate fraudulent practices. He drafted in the SSS, he brought the DSS, he brought the Interpol. All of them were there to monitor our money and they were being, we were being paid, we were happy. Apart from the Meina saga, there are several cases in different parts of the country that still record sentiments in the management of pensions. A case out of many is that of Edo State. The pensioners had taken to the streets to get the attention of the government on their arrears. But the governor does not understand why they seem not to appreciate the efforts of his administration. The opposition is using pension to play politics. Since January this year, which month did you not receive pension? I challenged them. We pay them pension every month. Their quarrel is arrears. I said, okay, fine, we are owing you arrears. But who caused the arrears? The arrears was caused by the people who are giving you money to go and demonstrate. How can we be, I mean, be sponsored? Will somebody show me how to cry over what belongs to me? Will somebody tell me that I am pinched and I should not move my leg? This is very funny. He should not bring a PDP and not any other DC. If he pay us today, he can never see any pensioner on the street. We are on the street because we are not paid. Let him pay us. If he pay us, he will know whether we have been sponsored or not. Then, to pay us, he has failed to pay. Instead, he continued to threaten us. And by the time he threatened us, he is provoking us. We are not happy to be here. We are old enough to be his, uh, his brother and father's here, his mother's as well. We are not being paid. I'm supposed to be at home now resting after working for 35 years.